So Arsenal 5. Yes, you heard right. A five-star performance for once. Uh, Arsenal 5, Everton 1. Uh, Jez is going to give us his thoughts and feelings in this fan cam in a second. Do go and check out the Werapi website. I'm going to play a quick one-minute video. Now, uh, today is the last day for you to get the one-month free trial. And the link for that is in the description. After the one-month trial, use discount code Lee Gunner, And uh, that is uh, giving you $4 off. So if you do suffer from mental health issues and depression, do go and check that out. And uh, I'll play this video and we'll get Jez's thoughts real quick. Let's go. Werribee. Therapy, wherever, whenever. Hello and welcome to Know Yourself. Brought to you by Werribee. Therapy, wherever, whenever. In this four-week course, you will learn how to indicate areas of inner conflict and distress and reflect on them. You will also learn about how different versions of yourself compete with each other to make you feel depressed. This course uses simple models to illustrate different psychological processes. At the end of each lesson, you will be able to draw a model of yourself and see how your depression and inner conflict has been created. We encourage you to take each lesson at your own pace. There is a lot to learn. Short videos and diagrams are provided to make the information easier to digest. Homework will be assigned at the end of every lesson. Also, please make the most of the week between the lessons by applying what you've learned and by doing the homework consistently throughout the week. Before you start this course, have some nice paper, some different color pens, and some tracing paper handy. So, without further ado, let's get started. Click on the tab below to proceed to the first week of the course, the objective and method theory. Jez, um, Arsenal 151, pressure FC, no pressure FC, I mean. Uh, no pressure FC. Um, go out, play football, scored some great goals today. Odegaard showed up, um, scored a lovely goal. Cedric scored. Um, Eddie gets a goal. Um, Gabriel scores. I found some of the celebrations a little bit over the top, if I'm honest. Um, trying to get the crowd up and all of it. I mean, what's that all about? Yeah, to be honest, if down to me, I would have told him, don't even celebrate. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Um, all the uh, all the new uh, top gooners and uh, existing top gooners have all been in the club shop, haven't they? They've got their collared up shirts. Some of them were swinging it around their heads. Yeah, we got super Mir Carteta. Uh, Tottenham absolutely annihilated Norwich. I don't think that was ever in doubt. They've conceded, what, 84 goals, Norwich. They deserve never to come back. And, um, yeah, what did you make of that capitulation in the last three games, mate, and today's performance? Well, we capitulated, for sure. Um the only, the only bonus, Lee, is it's a, it's a good end to the season. 5-1 against, let's be honest, a very poor Everton side. Um, but it's a lacklustre season. But he's fixed the defence. Yeah. Mm. Really? Okay. Ten straight Premier League games we've conceded a goal now in a row. Ten straight games. Yeah. So he's fixed the defence as he bollocks mm. but you know i'm you know lee i am so tired of this season it's worn me out you know i mean i don't know about you man but it's it's been hard work isn't it it has, it has I'm, actually, I'm actually looking forward to a break of watching this absolute shit i really mm. am man you know um I enjoy doing what we do, Kenny, and all that. I really do. I love it. And I'm going to miss it for the summer. But I just cannot take any more of this absolute bullshit that I mm. see from the supposed top, top gooners and their absolute fake crap. You know, I'm sorry. I mean, I've just got to throw this one into you. I've just been watching another show here. One of our guys, one of our guys that, you know, is our test route. And a young little, young little lad that comes on there. And I actually corrected him a while ago because his name was AFC 1887 News. So I said, actually, mate, it's 1886. Mm. And like, 
he was fair. I, I think he's about 11, 12. Fair play to him. But it ain't been educated properly. No. And the fact of the matter is, he didn't know the year Arsenal were formed when it's evident everywhere. And yet he's promoting Arteta in. And I, I feel sorry for kids like this because yeah. they don't have any track of where they can get the education. Now, if the, cl the club don't bother, the club don't bother educating these people. I mean, that kid's 11 years old, you said, 11 or 12, whatever he is, yeah? Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. But let's, let's be real. When do Arsenal Football Club ever try and educate the fans? They mm. don't. It's all about pushing merchandise and bigging up the, the players and bigging up the manager and pushing out all the PR. They don't bother trying to educate the fan base. You know, and then then all of these other um, YouTube channels and, and Twitter accounts, they don't bother because it's it's not you ain't getting traction doing that. that. That's how they see it. It's all about putting out stuff to, oh, Tottenham are in the mud. Oh, Lee Gunners in the mud. Oh, Man United are in the mud. Oh, yeah, Liverpool this. You know, where's yours gold? Uh, all that crap. Because it's all about trying to get likes and retweets instead of actually understanding and learning the history of your football club. And Arsenal have tapped into that and know that the majority of our fans online are like that. Mm. Yeah, we're in the minority, mate. Yeah, we are in the minority. Yeah, because most of these fans are just getting sucked in by all the crap this club feed and the journalist feed and the biggest accounts feed. <clears throat> so easily, you know, I'll, I'll count you there because I've noticed in the last month. People have come and chatted to me on my little channel. The and links in the description but on this video. So go and subscribe. Arsenal history and more. But people have come in to me. There's one guy who's an absolute hater of mine. And the other night he came in and said, Jez, I'm sorry, you're right. You, Lee and Kenny are right. So people are turning, mate. The worm is turning. Mm. And But where, where, where do we go from here, though? Because... If he starts the season off, right, most of these people now have seen um, seen this as a success because we've gone from eighth, eighth to fifth, right? But we were fourth with four points lead on Spurs with three mm. games to play and we mm. finished behind them. So when they come out with this rubbish about, oh, after the first three games and no pundits this and no pundit, well, these are the pundits you will say are Arsenal haters anyway. So why are you listening to them, right? Mm. But after the like, first three games of the season, there's still 35 more, by the way. Yeah, so, you know, when you're four points clear with three to go, I don't see how that's success if you go from fourth to fifth, right? And if we start the season um, with, I don't know, say three straight losses again, do you genuinely think that enough fans will turn to get this manager sacked? Because I don't. I think no. it's going to take maybe, I don't know, seven losses or something by the end of September to get him sacked. I think, Lee, that... To get this fella out, we're in the Champions League now, next season, right? Europa League. Sorry, Europa League. <laughs> oh, oh, I got carried away there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was dreaming. No, I can see why you did that, mate, because the song was, we've got Super Mick on set, on our oh, yeah. night, and I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was dreaming. And like, yeah, I got carried away on a, on a dream. But, you know, maybe one day we will, but never mind. But, I think what will turn people against this fella is in the Europa League when we get piped by and don't get out of the group stage. Or, I, or end up in the Conference League. Yeah, God, dear God. And we're playing Bogner Town and yeah. all that lot. Now, that's when he's going to go. That is when the fans will turn. But, unfortunately, we know that this absolute arse hole of a prick of a manager and the management behind him will... They've all got to go. They've all got to go, man. Shocking. Mm. I, I just want to see what they do in the summer transfer window because I, I will continually do my um, stuff in the summer of my little channel, and I, I, you know, I'm still going to out him all, oh, day. all day long. All day long. Yeah, we ain't giving up, mate. The geezer ain't good enough. No. These people have tried to suppress our thoughts and feelings all season. 
Yeah, they've tried to do it with me since before he got the job. I ain't mm. turning. Yeah, no. I he's lost 13 games this season. We conceded three goals less than Emery did with Licksteiner and um, Kalazanak and Mustafi and Czech and um, who else? Bellerin. Yeah, and Socrates and Koscielny. Yeah, and Monreal and players like that. Nah, mate, ain't having it. Yeah, Monreal was half a decent player. Well, yeah, Monreal was good, to be fair. But I ain't having it. Yeah, and, and, and this lot seem to just gas up every single player and make out they're the greatest. Oh, we missed Thomas Party. Well, why didn't we have Gendouzi in the club this season? Because I'll mm. tell you what, he's better than Sambi Lukonga. Oh, good. Yeah? Why, why did we let Saliba go out on loan when, and then spend 50 million on Ben White, who now can't even get back in over holding, by the way? Um, we could have put Saliba and Gendouzi in the squad. Yeah, we would have been cool. But what do we know? Listen... It, it, this summer is just going to be a disappointment, mate. It really is. And we're not going to be good enough. Um, we've seen the level. Yeah, we've seen that Antonio Conte has already slapped him apart in six months. Mm. And um, and with a few quid in his pocket, he's going to go out there and be light years clear of us next season. And then you've got Ten Hag coming in at Man United. Well, there's another manager better than him. Yeah, and they've got the resources to go and do what they want. Um, mm. So, yeah, we're kind of dusted, mate. But listen, we're going to do player ratings in about an hour. Um and listen, big up to you, man. Love always, always, mate. And um, I'll send you a link in about an hour. Yeah, take care, man. Take I'll take care. Her out. You pray.